Hello everyone. In the video, we are going to cover 5 best gimbal tripod heads in the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are going to give you an impartial review to help you out to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. For more info and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video make sure to check the links in the description below. Let's start. Number 1. Our best pick is Wimberly WH200 Wimberly Gimbal Head. This design has been around for decades and is popular with many photographers. The design is bland, but they are among the smoothest gimbals on the market, and their durability and general robustness have been proven over time. If you tend to beat up your camera equipment in harsh environments and don't mind the sterile, industrial look, this one is one of the best options. The downside to the Wimberly head is it's three. One pound weight. For many photographers, I suggest a zero. Seven pounds weight saving of the PMG GK Jr. Katana Pro is worth the additional $50. Still, many choose the Wimberly out of loyalty to what is essentially the original long lens gimbal tripod head. A side mount version is also available. Number two. Our second best pick is Oban GH30 gimbal head. It deserves a spot on this list because it brings gimbals down to a price point that makes them accessible to many more people. At just $250, this is an excellent beginner option for people who don't do much wildlife photography but want something that will make life considerably easier for them on the odd weekend excursion. It's also a good budget option if you have booked a costly wildlife photography vacation and suddenly realize that you should take a gimbal with you but don't want to break the bank. One thing I will say about this gimbal is that I do not recommend that you take the 44 pounds load rating at face value. I'm not saying that it's not true, I don't doubt that it could hold 44 pounds, but a maximum load rating is not the same as a recommended usable rating. The Oban GH30 loses some of its smoothness with very heavy camera setups. Number 3. Our third best pick is Wimberly SK100 Sidekick. This is an interesting design for someone who must carry both a ball head and a gimbal head. Instead of switching heads entirely, this handy gadget converts your existing ball head into a gimbal. To do this, your ball head must have a separate panning base lock knob and an Arca Swiss compatible clamp. To install it, release the ball lock and flop the clamp into your drop notch, positioning it vertically, then tighten the ball as much as possible. Now clamp the sidekick into the now vertical ball head clamp and loosen the ball head's panning base lock knob to rotate the gimbal. Choosing the sidekick instead of a proper gimbal will give you some weight savings, but, as with the Pro Media Gear GT2 Tomahawk discussed earlier on this page, the head's effectiveness depends on the smoothness of your ball head's panning base. Ball heads are not designed to have heavy weights levered on one side while rotating. They are designed to be locked down tightly. Even some of the best ball heads on the market struggle to deliver a smooth horizontal pan when used in this out-of-scope manner. Finally, you must consider this one against the similar Pro Media Gear GT2 Tomahawk. The Tomahawk is roughly $150 more expensive than the Sidekick, but its double dovetail design and integrated 3-8 female thread means you can use it as a monopod head. If a monopod head was also on your shopping list, Buying the PMG GT2 Tomahawk will represent overall cost savings. The Tomahawk is lighter than the Sidekick, for 34G versus 589G, and that weight saving increases if it means you don't need to carry a separate monopod head. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is Photopro E6H Gimbal Head. Photopro is a Chinese manufacturer that has a broad portfolio of support products. Unlike most companies, they haven't chosen a pricing sector of the market to concentrate on. Instead, they manufacture everything from sub $200 tripods up to $1,400 tripods. This is a very different way of doing things. Imagine if Gitzo or Really Right Stuff made sub $200 tripods in their top of the line offerings, or if Ferrari made a cheap four door sedan. This gimbal is tiny. It's roughly half the size of any of the other gimbals in this guide, and it's easily the lightest at 911G with the cradle or a mere 700G in side mount mode. Despite its small size, 
it has some of the smoothest pan and tilt motions of any gimbal in this guide. It's so smooth that I had to ask Photopro if it used fluid cartridges because it's smoother than the Gitzo fluid gimbal. As it turns out, it does not. But you certainly wouldn't know it by using it. This gimbal is full of features that don't exist on other gimbals. Firstly it has click stops that can be engaged on the panning base for panoramic photographers to get perfectly repeatable results. Secondly, the vertical arm can be swiveled forwards or backwards up to 180 degrees. This means you can shoot straight up to the night sky or down to the ground for macro work. Alternatively, fold it down for more compact travel. Other unique features include toolless swapping between cradle mount and side mount and locking screw lock knobs on the Arca Swiss clamps. It even comes with a panning handle so you can use the head for filmmaking. And yes, this head is smoother than many cheap video heads, so that's an entirely plausible scenario. This is the Swiss Army knife of tripod heads, and it does it in the smallest and lightest package on the market. But there is a slight downside. The load rating for this gimbal is 10 kilograms, 22 pounds, much less than some of the other gimbals, making it unsuitable for huge super telephoto lenses and better suited to a 100 to 400 millimeters type lens. Number 5. Our fifth best pick is Promedia Gear GT2 Tomahawk V2 Gimbal Head. This is best described as half a gimbal. Comparing the Tomahawk to the GK Jr. Katana Pro, you can see it closely resembles the vertical part of that gimbal, using the same clamp and bearings. The dovetails on the bottom of the Tomahawk allow you to clamp it onto a ball head, thus using the ball head's panning base for the gimbal rotation. Wimberly first developed the half gimbal concept with their sidekick model. Promedia Gear has taken this concept further by adding 1 420 and 3 816 female threads that allow the tomahawk to be used on top of a monopod. This ingenious design can negate the need to carry a separate monopod head or a full size tripod gimbal if you are already traveling with a ball head. The downside of the tomahawk is the nearly $400 price point. It won't be the best option for everyone when many full gimbals can be purchased for the same price or less. However, suppose you often travel with a high-quality ball head that can support a telephoto lens in this configuration. In that case, it does save considerable weight over carrying that ball head and a full-sized gimbal. The GT2 Tomahawk weighs just 15.3 ounces slash 434G. Make sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback.